In 2017, I set up a clinic for children affected with 22Q11 deletion syndrome. It's a very complex medical condition in that children are born with up to 180 different problems which can affect, for example, their heart, their palate, can affect their learning, their mental well-being. In setting up this clinic, I linked with Anne Lawler, who is the chairperson of 22Q Ireland, and we discussed the multiple needs that this population have, particularly the need for coordinated care. By working with the patient organisation, we put together a business case to try and get funding for a complex care coordinator. Our complex care coordinator has been in post for two years and this has made a huge difference to the running of the clinic. It means that instead of coming to Crumlin for multiple different appointments, that care can be coordinated on the same day. We can coordinate care in the community and it reduces the stress and burden on parents and extended families. We pride ourselves in providing holistic, functional well-being and health assessment for young people living with a, a, a myriad of, of complex needs. Uh, it involves complex case management, family liaison, engaging with multiple services and advocacy. Um, it involves creating research, engaging with the users at the end of the healthcare to ensure that it's appropriate. And we have a single point of contact for queries and questions that come up in relation to the ongoing care of a young person with 22Q11 deletion syndrome. I think it's the marrying of the clinical expertise and the lived experience of the families that has made this project really grow and blossom. One of our parents has described it as a game changer for her and her family. So the model of care that we've created for young people with 22Q11 is transferable to other populations with rare disease we're demonstrating that parental liaison and putting young people at the centre of their healthcare decisions is having positive outcomes for people living with rare disease.